Hey guys, so a few notes about the templates that I create. First of all, smart objects. If you don't know what they are, uh, you're about to find out. Any object, any layer here that you see um, with the, the sort of icon at the bottom right hand corner, it's like uh, three squares. If you see that, it's a smart object, which means there's something inside that you can edit. So if you double click on this, you can see here that uh, this text layer is not rasterized. This text layer is um, a text layer that you can change. So you can type your own thing in here, like new title, like that. Okay. Uh, let's try that again. That's of course assuming you can type as well as me. All right. And then you can close it. So close and save. And I'll obviously say, do you want to save changes? Now notice that this is a PSB file. This is a, almost like a separate file inside your main file. Um, so you must always save this, otherwise it's obviously not going to update the changes. So uh, once you save that, it'll take you back to the original place, the original template, and you can see that the title's changed. So uh, that's great. So we can change exactly the same thing with any of these. Uh, Monday, right? Well, close it up a bit. Um, close, save it. And there you go, it's changed. So you can edit all this information, you can put in whatever the hell you want in here, um, put your own stuff in, and there you go, that's how to edit these templates. Okay, so just a quick note on um, the fly templates. The flies are all designed at A5, which is 14.8 centimeters by 21 centimeters. Um, that's significantly larger than the standard US uh, four by six inches. Um, so again, I've included an action which you can just load into into Photoshop. Um, and once you run the action, it'll resize uh, the entire canvas and re-render everything. So you have something which uh, should come out to four point two five by six point two five, I believe. So you've got four by six plus point two five inch bleed. Um, should you want to print a true photo size, you need the bleed to trim off afterwards. Okay, so it just cropped it down. You can see already the canvas is um, quite a bit longer than the than the A5 in terms of ratio. And there you go, it's shrunk it down. So this is just it's just a time saver. Let's save you going and doing it yourself. All right. So we're left with you can get rid of those crop marks. There they go. They're the crop marks for uh, the US photo crop. And we take a look in inches. Yep, 4.247, basically 4.25 by 6.25. Okay, so then you can go ahead and edit and you should be ready for print.